here we are. You no, know, but we knew there was going to be some a uh, little bit of trickery on this side of the bracket, right? When you saw it kind of play out this way, when you saw the teams line up, you knew this side was going to little get a little bit weird, a little bit surprising. And right out of the gates, it looks like Ence is lining up and marching towards this upper bomb site. Smoke down and Mini is going to block off as tag. Popsky at the silos. We have a player up top in heaven. Here we go. Split. One player going to come through that smoke and mini. Shots are out. Good opening kills from Ence. They have the opening two. It's a five on three. Bomb not planted just yet, but it's going down as we speak. Bomb has been Fuzi outside and conceding that bomb plant just covers off to make sure that they can get toward Annex and retake from lower. They need all angles and Rez from the big garage will try and peer into the mini connector. Maiden Spikes. Oh, that's a great shot from Hampus. Spots it, though. That is information for Dia, who's up close. Hampus trying to swing around again. Hampus is going to lead the way. Doesn't even wait for Rez. fuzi has got the shot instead. That's from above. And now it's a battle of the door. Neither wanted to take it out, but needing to get the shots. Hades able to get Hampus down. Spinks got Rez, so both of those players gone. It's Fuzi that has to come back into the round himself, and he's low on HP and taken out by Hades. So one nothing for Ant's T side. Yeah, but that got way too close for being at a five on three in the upper bomb site with solid post plant positions as well. Some fine shooting from NIP as they find some entries to almost make that work. Pistol round ends, as you said. Three Mac 10s is going to be picked up. This is uh, this is kind of, I don't know, every time I see Nip play, it's it's just kind of a fun matchup in my head. We, we've talked to a couple players, a few players here. I'm not going to name names, but everyone is kind of like scratching their heads like, how is NIP winning some of these games? Like, nobody has really expected them to make this deep of a run. Uh, it's been incredible, and obviously the death touch on it a bunch. The increased performance from Rez is absolutely integral to this team's success. If he goes quiet today, they're likely to fall short. Smoke wall is going to allow D hit across. Snappy coming behind ever so slowly and ever so quietly. Both make it to secret. Both do. Dia with the MAC-10, and now Molotov will clear out the control room stairs. Amp is aware. But they're down there and would have gotten a secret. It's going to back off watch ramp, make sure they don't lose both sides of the approach to the site. This could actually be a reverse take. We used to see, and I miss it, the dual ladder. Remember, you used to come through squeaky, down the first ladder, straight through the uh, the, the, the vents underneath, and back up the second ladder. <laughs> and it's, it was the Mario strategy, right? You just teleport through to the site. You could almost see them downstairs with the bomb up above, although it's caught out. Popsky's going to push through on this. I was going to say, you could see them come up from the vents underneath to take the site above them at the same time they come through squeaky in this case, but not going to happen. That's all slowed down and Hampus is still pushed up as well. This is so weird. Batten's in a really tough spot. He's going to be bailed out by his teammates coming in, but this round almost Ooh. got sketchy. Good turn from Diha. Two to nothing. The MAC-10s do work. Yeah. What Where was... I would just... I don't know how he wasn't spotted soon. He must have been just <laughs> forward of the door because it's not like Fuzi was in the middle of the or at the back of the room. He was in the middle of the room, which means he was approaching as well. That means he rotated all the way through underpass or underpass underground, by the way, all the way through B. Okay, so he is far enough forward that he wouldn't have been seen. But yeah, Fuzi's just in the yeah, middle of a, the room when he turns around. Missed timing, it's just a perfect timing for him to spin. M4 picked up for Hades. AK47 brought into the round as well, so Ence doesn't lose anything crazy. For NIP, back to USPs. Unarmored, no utility. There's a 5-7 on res, but can't count on that for too much damage. Hades looking over the top of the smoke. Again, three players for Ents this time quietly walking behind this smoke wall. Hades is going to follow it up with that M4, but he's got to be careful with the timing of it. Yeah, you see him start to hustle because he knows those smokes are going to begin fading any second now. He's not committing to secret. That's a huge what, USP. Yikes. Ooh, that yeah. is that sucks. Yeah, that feels awful. And that M4 Hampus wisely just going to back it off towards CT spawn. There's there's no way you're winning this round. So just keep the rifle in hand. Nice little economic boost for at least one player. Spinks is all on his lonesome as well. NIP could actually make the call to come crunch this position. Snappy's going to come help him out with the MAC-10. He's dinked immediately. Long spray, but he gets the follow up as Plopsky walks into a headshot. Toss that Mac 10. No, you don't want it. All right, I'll take it back. Snappy, he's low on HP, so he will give it to Maiden now. So another round, friends. 3 0. -oh. Good shot from Sphinx. Takes down Fuzi as well. It's Hampus that has the weapon. Rez is going to go down with the bomb because he's just looking for anything at all to take with him to the next round. In fact, not that much because he gets back through the window, so it only takes him to 72. Yeah, notoriously uh, weak bomb weak on bomb. this map. Yeah. yeah. I don't. 
I, maybe I do. I, <laughs> I don't like that it's not the same, but you obviously learn them all and you know the spots you can yep. save and whatnot. But it'd be nice for, I guess, newer players to have it be very consistent. It just feels weird. It's very close to the bomb site. Regardless, three to nothing for us very quickly. Two Mac 10s still in hand. Especially close to a bomb site that's in a nuclear power plant. Yeah, exactly. I feel like this would be the one you want to be the furthest from. Yeah, in terms of the lore, the lore of Counter Strike. Oh, here we go. Fast rush outdoor. Molotovs. They're going to drop down vents. The AWP is negated. The AWP is entirely negated. And the bomb has gone down as well. Three players going to stay up top. These Mac 10s. These are the only two guys down here for the moment. Uh oh. They're going to get this plant down. Res is an opportunity, but he's forced back by utility. This is working out exactly like designed. And now the AK joins them. He got down through the smoke at the vents as well. So they've got Spinks in position. Madden's already winning outside. This is fast from Ents. They've gotten downstairs now twice with those SMGs. One from Secret, this time through the vents. They're really controlling NIP and putting them in awkward positions. I don't even think you go for this. And this is such a cool, I mean, cool strat as well. I, it's kind of a big risk, right? Because if those MAC-10s go down for whatever reason in the lower bombs that are in the vents, like rounds over because you have three players outside and up top and spread across the map. But you're attacking a bomb site. but the main, like, the main danger of your attack is actually the players just kind of lurking at red box looking for that player to try and, you know, counter and go for the retake through Secret, the guy in Squeaky Door who's looking for someone to follow you down vents. That's like the main danger of it regardless of the bomb site itself so very very cool little sleight of hand almost for ends that's gonna net them their fourth and nip able to save four weapons so nice cheeky way to get an additional round with those mac 10s more than a bonus at this point that was the one man outside that was waiting as well big big i i, I say big kill it was a Important one because it does mean that Secret's still controlled and then he can actually rotate in and support with his rifle. But I mean, at that point, the bomb already down. They were locked out. I don't think they were really had much of a chance in it. Fuzi AWP. We'll see if that can get NIP rolling. I wonder if Ents thought maybe they would like lose a couple players at some point, like lose one of these Mac 10s they could upgrade. Like you, you've just done kind of a cheese round to get an extra or an extra round with the Mac 10. The bonus exactly because yeah. you get to farm up cash. You don't lose a lot, and you just you know you get an, essentially an extra round out of it. Yeah, I'm just curious how they're going to manage this follow up round. Mac 10 is going to find a kill. Hampus misses the opportunity. Shot in the face by Diha, and cleaned up by the ensuing follow up bullets. Ents on Nuke, I know it's a very different Ents over the course of their career as a team and legacy as a team, but man, they've always been strong here. They were the team, again, different core, but took down Astralis on their huge winning streak on it, so you know some of the DNA might still be ingrained. Ancient Net next, excuse me, overpass if needed. Oh, they're going to crush this. They're going to crush this door. Oh, no. Oh, they're losing all these fights. Yeah, good final trade from Spinks. And into the site, fuzi has got one. Huge to keep NIP within reach. Two on two. Molotov upstairs to deny Fuzi, but he extinguishes that with a lovely outside smoke that cuts through and allows him to walk in and still have vision so he doesn't have to completely block himself out. He's trying to use that to his advantage to look toward Annex now. Spinks, however. Oh, he detects it. He knows that that smoke means something and spraying through. He's got to switch over to the pistol. He put so many shots upstairs, but he's hurt Fousey enough that that Glock would do if it could find a shot. And Fousey, he would like his AWP very, very much. He's going to back off to CT spawn. It'll be another round five for Ents. At NIP, they played very well in this playoffs to get... I mean, sure, they had the buy. They got into this position, but... As we saw before the game, Hampus, that quote that they were practicing for the RMR online with Brolin. Brolin is here to be a part of the team, be acclimated in. They've even got seven computers in their practice room as opposed to six like most do. So ESL's accommodated that as best as possible. But there's so much uncertainty around this lineup. And I think that's part of made the final. It would have been insane. Yeah, I think that's part of the reason why people kind of scratch their head and they're just like, how are we, how are we doing this? Because the uncertainty has been there for so long. At this point, they're used to it. But... Man, what a, what a weird situation it's got to be to be involved in that. And, and at this point as well, I know Device bringing it in was like a big motivation. You got Rez, you got Device. That was supposed to be... At this point, you don't even consider him there. I mean, I, I hope he's doing okay. I, I don't want to get into it. It's mental health and it's pretty serious and all that. But you, you can't just say, well, Re he'll be back. He'll be back. When's he coming back? He just... He's not. When he is, he is. When he, He's not here. So it's... Right now, Brolin has to be their boy. Oh, no. I, NIP's losing all these initial fights. Fuzi's going to respond on a Sphinx out of the door. Hampus misses an opportunity. Awkward fight for him as well. Plopsky now all on his own with Fuzi up above. Nice little vertical stack here. Op is going to get one more. Smoke can go down, but it's not going to obs obscure his vision entirely. NIP under so much pressure. Three on three. There's a good shot. Headshot from Snappy. Plopsky's got six health. To the corner. Needs to be aware of the swing behind that smoke, though. Snappy could quickly eradicate his position. Maiden wants to go first. Matt's going to nail it. Plopsky down. Rez. 
I don't think he dares go through this smoke yet, but he does have an off angle locked in that corner, though. He will be when the fight does go down. He can hear the jumping through. Tries to deny the bomb planter from putting it in position, but that's not the end of the world. Nice or Ents, because they've got the shot lined up. They knew he was there for locked in the corner, and they had 50 seconds to figure that out. So six to nothing on the T side. Ents is coming in looking relentless. This is a, a, an incredible start to the game, obviously. Six, some of these initial fights, they, they've lost so many entries. We, we saw the MAC-10 coming out secret, find a kill. We saw previously a couple times in the upper bomb site, those AKs just winning out against the M4s with ease. NIP's got to be able to clean these up. But Ensa's doing a really good job of giving them, like, really tricky fights. It hasn't felt like NIP players have been comfortable in the duels that they've found. Ensa is really quickly in their face. Again, smoke wall, two players going to cross. A little bit of a tap. Shot fired. Two players down low, and that's going to bring Hampus with the 5-7 downstairs as well. But NIP, without losing secret and losing outside, want to get investigative towards lobby. S tag pushed into hut. So boost for Dia to check the decontamination stairs. Again, though, tons of map control. Fuzi down here with the Deagle. They're just trying to show, like, that they're taking this bomb site. that utility is being spent. They're trying to pull somebody from the upper bomb site out into the open for the players that are there. NIP's doing a pretty good job, though, of remaining composed. That's unfortunate. It's, it's good check. Yeah, it's so tough for Fuzi, though, to know where to look. You don't even know how many bodies are down there. This, well, this is exactly what Dia was always going to do, because he did it two rounds, three rounds ago with the Mac. Then he wants to push all the way through the site. If they aren't going to rotate to him, he's going to flank them. But he could have been caught out, even though it was just the Deagle. He could have been caught out by Fuzi. So good to check all corners. Sphinx holding out in radio he knows that they're going to be pushing through and he's ready for it nice spray down i know it's just an anti-eco but solid as at an m4 man that's a third that's kill true. as well yeah he's on point good shooting from spinks nine and three for him seven to nothing for ends t side nuke not really a whole lot to even talk about for nip outside of the fact they're just getting deleted at the moment s tag yet to find the score sheet he's got that big old goose egg Unfortunately for him, yeah, but... but As I, does the team. Uh, th yes, Fousey's at 6-5. and five. Get him rolling with an AWP more frequently. Yeah, he has now. It, it's all well and good if your opera's having a good game. That's obviously great. I mean, no one's gonna no one's gonna be upset about that one. But if your riflers on nuke aren't having good games, you have nothing to stop these kind of fast, aggressive plays that Enz has been throwing at you. And again, here we go. Dia pop flash off angle. S tag is gonna find that good kill for him. Outside, Snappy can't control the spray this time. The fights go the way of NIP. Finally, finally they can have a man advantage and in fact make it two. Estag got that spray down through the edge of the wall as well. Reverse at mini based on the call because Hampus was in behind box. And they know that they've been playing the vent. Sprays to it. Spinks beats him through. No damage dealt, but Hades will fall. Estag stepping up this round. Definitely on the board now. And perhaps an IP will follow suit because Spinks and Madden, the only two left. And Madden upstairs still locked out from the vents, has to find access to this lower bomb site. Sphinx is essentially playing solo at this point. Yeah, just get the bomb planted, see what kills you can find from there. If you're Madden, you don't have to think about playing the bomb and trying to actually win the round. Kill some of the players trying to rotate, take some weapons away. Sphinx gets lured into holding the angle. Rez comes from the opposite side. And Madden, you got no play left. Walk into the upper bomb site. You do have Plopsky here, who likely won't expect this hut play. But the verticality is tough to deal with. NIP's on the board with five players surviving. Yeah, Madden could, didn't have the confidence or the information to lurk the ramp sooner. If he had have maybe come down and pinched that play, maybe there's a world they can hold off the, sit, the, the retake. But great round from S-Tag that time. Hampus as well being a little more aggressive. He just finished saying if the rifles aren't working. Well, this round, they were everything. This was a great peek as well, because as you mentioned, he was holding right side. They timed that perfectly. 7-1, Rez, early nade. Dia's gonna get forward of that. No additional smokes outside, though, so he's playing for dry peaks at this point. Now they'll land. Rez flames through it, tags him. Now he knows he's there. Sound cue, but anticipates wrong on where to spray, and Dia will hold the stairwell. Decent damage, though. Three players in the upper bomb site for NIP on defense. They've been busted there a couple times. They want to shore things up. This time, Ents, they can actually go deep into the playbook because they've been wrecking NIP so much in this half, and they're going to start wrapping. So a new look. Madden is going to get up towards heaven. 
Two players outside in garage, including the bomb. Spinks just looking for this push, and it's there. They just haven't explored all the way into his position quite yet. Rez and S attack have overtaken lobby. Oh, Rez is in trouble. Spinks is looking for this. It's all about timing. Spinks has been going back and forth between ladder. He's going to see it. Easy kill. Easy opening frag. Big one to find. Rez would have got so much information on that. Now they are still pushed up in lobby. Madden's gone all the way around already. 38 seconds. He's going to hold this position at heaven. This is a problem for them because they'll never expect him to be that far up the rafters. It's just so patient. And Madden, I, it's bold, but I mean, he's it's the educated guess, right? Like, you know that they know, you know that they know that they, you've taken outside, that their only real option is to push towards lobby. That's the standard protocol. And then obviously, when Spinks finds someone pushing up the ladder, you know likely they're going to be in lobby. Multiple players. So Madden's able to have the confidence to just wheel out heaven and get a great hold. That's a tag trying to hold the line. Spinks shuts him down as well. Spinks went over the roof at the exact time that S-Tag went back to hunt for that as well. He went outside to wrap it and couldn't find him anywhere. NIP just got worked this round. Worked. That's the kind of round if you're NIP. Th these are the ones that make you feel real nervous as a player just because you got red so well. Like, you, you had no idea what was happening e everywhere you went. Rez gets caught off guard trying to flank up roof. Madden's able to get that kill in towards Hut as well, and you weren't even expecting someone to be up in rafters at that point. That's the one that just says, oh, we're in for a long map. Buckle in. Eight to one. Eight to one. So NIP can't convert the second round after finally getting a gun. Gun round, that is. But they are going to be back on rifles this time. They've still got Fuzi saving that AWP, so it's a full buy on the CT side. Oh, that's a bummer. Yeah, you mentioned it. Just the timing on that. Spinks is able to get away. Be loving it. Here we go. Round 10. Deha and Snappy outside. Hampus is going to be in mini. Plopsky dropped. Pushing Hut behind the Molotov. Nobody is catching Spinks off guard right now. He's 12 and 4. 12 kills in these nine rounds. Miss shot for Fuzi. Flash goes deep. Hampus trying to use that to his advantage. A little bit late behind it, so a second one thrown. Need red crate. That's decently placed. So is that bullet. Dia gone. First time they've run the rifle inside of the stairwell, and they know that secret's been a problem, so it's a good adaptation. Good utility to hold them at bay as well. Running out of nades is ends. They've had set up this wall of smokes, but Hampus' position has shut everything down. The Molotov as well. Oh, Madden didn't expect that. He might still win the fight, though. Hampus going to disappear inside the smoke, but Snappy's waiting for him to exit on the other side. Four on three. Back to a man advantage. As tag pinned down in towards Mini. Upper bomb site is lost. They know his position. Can't transfer over. And it's just Fuzi with the up and another missed shot. And there's no way he's going to build upon it after that. Ends looking unstoppable. It's a tough free peak to take as well when the AWP players the Molotov's down, needs everything in front of Fuzi. Fires in, can't get the shots. He's missed again as Fuzi is gonna I thought crumble to the utility. He's on three HP. Res tagged to 16. He does at least manage to get snappy. So the man advantage narrowly to NIP. Yeah, but this is that same kind of execute they did with the Mac 10s, remember? And they had all the little lurkers set up across the map. This time, it's going to be a pinch towards ramp room. Three players coming from lobby. Spinks. This should be an easy kill. Res has no idea it's coming. He's low on HP. There's the op as well. Fuzi. That's a tough peek for him to take. Spinks has that as well. Four on three. Even if they weren't headshots, they were so low it wouldn't have mattered. Down vents we go as NIP desperately try to recover, and maybe this is it. Hampus beats the Molotov, he's got a double. Good hold. A chance in it, still up a man after all of the exchanges. Madden's gonna change that, but he's stuck inside of the site, now a lone bomb in his hand. Great job from Hampus, three kills in the rounds. As Madden trying to use that small hole in the door, unaware of where Hampus has gone. He's come out from the control room, takes matters into his own hands, and NIP get their second round. Yeah, beating that Molotov was absolutely massive. Ants never expected that, but still, if you're the ninjas, you were caught out in that round. That's, that's won by heroic individual effort from Hampus. That's not going to happen too often. Good opening kill from Rez, surviving a little bit longer as well, but this is obviously the big boy play. Hampus 
having enough of Entz, enough of their shenanigans. And he controls control room, second round on the board for NIP. Money's still very, very safe for Entz. Another new look, upper execute. You can see him lining up the Molotovs. Hampus has already rotated downstairs towards Secret. It's just Plopsky, it's just S-Tag. Fousey's all the way back in CT spawn. It's just gonna be these two players. They're under a lot of pressure. Uh-oh. Mm, nope. Some flash high. They are gonna back off on this, though. So they have the information to the ramp. Baited out a bit of utility. Hamp is still at the stairs. This is where he went last round. Trying to start things off. Turned out very well for him. Fuzi this time not gonna miss. He's gonna take Madden down. Plopski on the hot snap. He's coming out, but they know that, and he'll relay the information to S-Tag. That's good enough to find a kill. They did lose Hampus in all this, though, and Sphinx is just looking so solid. Rez with the flank, finally getting control of radio. It's gonna force Sphinx to go. Hades is outside. He's trying to swing underneath. Sphinx can actually get inside the vent right now. No, he can't. Fuzi's going to spot that out. He had the AWP trained on it the whole time, and the Molotov at the bottom already was going to be a problem. Oh, that's a problem. That's bold. Hades has the op now. Let's see what he can do with it. Rez going to be retaking from ramp room. There's plenty of time for him to set up. One down vents, one down ramp. Hades in the back of the bomb site. Doesn't feel like he can get away just yet. Out in the open. He swings it in. Oh, tried to shut the door rather than fight in front of him. And Plopsky gets a shot off before he's ready to react. It will be another round. NIP 9-3. to three. Questionable and close. But it was a good push from Rez to force the issue, force them downstairs. Even though they lost the information, I'm surprised Fuzzy rotated the way he did. But 9-3, to three, they get it going. Sphinx is, back. Sphinx is so on point at the moment. Outside this time backs away. Smoke's going front. Single smoke now. They'll add the wall to it. The full wall. Molotov on top of the blue container. That's going to force him down as well. So the elevated position, not able to see through the edge of the smoke there, is the defensive incendiary. Jump across it, though. Oh, Hades just nailed him in return. Yeah, I did. One player's down low already. That's Rez. Quiet game from him so far. He's been a big talking point for NIP throughout the ESL Pro League. I don't know if he's gone quiet so much as Ensa has just played such a fantastic game so far. Fuzi checking backwards outside, not knowing if they have committed to lower or not because they lost the rifler that was trying to get that information and shut them down. Rez is very much all on his own. Fuzi is up in heaven. Plopsky and Squeaky Door S tag in lobby. This is everything to do for Rez. Smoke is perfect. Coming out a window. Good headshot from Dija. Rez had the read, but not quick enough. Smart play. Had to take matters into his own hands. Rather than sit in that corner and let them control his fate, he went aggressive. But not aggressive enough. They are going to go ramp. All three at the ramp as well. And Sphinx is yet to rotate down below. He needs to get there soon. If his teammates fall, he will be out of position, having to rotate back toward one of the two doorways and enter. Good shot, Madden. Down below. Looks for the second information gained. Does the damage onto Plopsky, and Dia follows him up. Fuzi realizes his fate is sealed. He's going to try and get away with the AWP, but he's not going to be given that easily, and Madden has that down as well. Good shooting from Madden. Just smart, controlled play from Entz. Really solid fundamentally. Nobody over peaking. Good hold from Madden in that lower bomb site. Obviously, some confidence from Spinks as well, saying, I'm not seeing anyone vent. I'm not seeing anyone rotate down vents. There was a timing they could have beaten his vision. Obviously, fortunate to a certain degree through the smoke, knew his position, but a nice headshot that connects. And this was great from that, and even surviving a little bit longer. Seven round lead. Four ends. Back to pistols. Half by for NIP. Hampus has no options. He's got to give up outside. He wanted to fight, he wanted to challenge. Mm. 
Madden. He's gonna look over top. Hampus tries to spot it with a deagle. Madden will know exactly where he is, so Hampus will be wise perhaps not to try and retake the AK, but unfortunately he walks around the corner to find an AWP instead. Maybe the AK would have been better. That's gonna give them outside again. One inside squeak, it's a secret stairs, one already going to heaven. Yeah, and Sphinx is all the way back towards T spawn. He's just like, I'm not getting caught. I don't push all you want. There's <laughs> come clear this spot if you really have the inkling for it. Madden's gonna bide his time. So Fuzi down low, Plopsky looking mini by Hut, S tag right beneath the heaven drop, and resin squeak door. One for, ooh, good kills from Plopsky. Madden did find one. Deha finds another one as well. That's Plopsky that finally gets shut down. 5-7 doesn't connect, and it's Fuzi to come up the vets. Right about, meow. And he's dropped. 11-3. to three. Dropped indeed. Yeah, Fuzi, or excuse me, Plopsky does it well to get two kills, but it's, it's still a very one-sided game so far. Round 15. Last of the half, and NIP will buy up everything available to them. Been such a cool half. It almost feels like uh, in the later stages, Ants is just on such a roll at the moment. They're steamrolling, but like the first seven, eight rounds from Ants, like tactically, like such a cool way to open up a T side half of Nuke. And NIP never could control anything. Campus hops on the ladder for safety as he reloads. T is already outside again, unspotted this time, but they have a player down below. Yeah, but there's no smoke wall, and I don't think they actually heard that. So I don't think there's any way for Hampus to know that someone has crossed secret. This guy's like the Undertaker this game. You're still gonna, you're still kind of, uh, he's not aware of it, see? He's not, he's thinking someone has this cross. Yeah, knife out. Oh, he does get a slash, fair play, but that's not gonna do much. He's gotta be so frustrated. He's like, how does nobody know? The timing of it, without smokes outside, nobody actually was able to catch a glimpse. And again, this is around NIP. I have no clue what's happening across the map. Snappy looking to find an angle. S tag meanwhile holds off for one. That was through the vent. He's confused as to where the shot came from. Meanwhile, Rez gets Snappy down. Madden strikes on S tag while that chaos ensues. Good retake by Rez to get on the floor. Dia comes up the ladder. Nails it. Oh, my oh he's Lord. got the read as well. He's not aware that he's done the damage. It's unconfirmed, but he's got the bomb. And he knows that Rez is on the other side, so he is gone. He'll hear Rez chasing as well. He could tap and hold. It's exactly what he's going to do. And Rez has to open the door. Pre fire in, and he nails it because he's low HP. Very well. It's ramp room lined up. It looks like they want to split towards that lower bomb site. Only one smoke to help them cross as well as the P250. Snappy's got to be aware of the possibility of the split in towards ramp room. How do they shift the defense on this one? Snappy trying to get a few headshots as they approach him. He was very sharp. So was Spinx in the first half. Hampus, the one that waits. Oh, get one at a time. That's oh, not it. That's geez. not it at all. Snappy's just absolutely obliterated them. Bombs on the ground. Fousey and Rez might be coming from the other side of the site, but they've got a long way to go. And they've been spotted. A long way to go with every with Ents having complete knowledge of where they are. And Bomb is going to be so hard to recover. 50 seconds left on the clock. A kill, quite nice from Rez with the P250, but still a lot to find. Problem too is like, it's going to take a while to get there and get the Bomb. You're going to have these extended fights. By the time you pick up the Bomb, you'll likely only have like one option, right? You'll have to kind of commit to that lower site. And all four players are going to be here. It's all decided coming around this corner. And that happened quick. Perhaps too quick. <laughs> you give us, did you just give a little wink? Like, yeah, of course I can get those two headshots. Easy peasy. Easy for Snappy. Well, it's pretty grim on the NIP side, I think. Not a lot of talking. Not a lot of emotion. Get this one over with. Yeah, Tech Paw's coming out really quick as well. Yeah, what are you supposed to do there? Just... Wonderful headshots from Snappy. Shuts everything down. Yeah. 16-14. It was pretty close. Second one, not so much. 16-2, and then couldn't close out the series, but Ants able to reverse sweep if you want. I, is two maps a sweep, really, though? I mean... <laughs> we allow it. He has pushed up towards Red Box. Hades firing off some shots, letting Hampus know one's playing far, far back, trying to give Dia the space to work with. Smoke, not clearing, and the timing on this is brutal for Hampus. Absolutely brutal. Snappy playing deep in towards ramp room as well. Ooh, 
res. Ooh, res! The timing. I thought he was going to get caught out. He spotted the flash coming. He evades it, runs, and comes back with an absolutely resounding double headshot deagle kills. It's going to be Plopsky that has to get Spinks down after he takes two back. Look at the HP, though. Res 14. Oh, my lord. He handled the third shot. What? Woof. Rez is on one right now, but still very winnable for Snappy. He's got to know his teammates have got to have called out low HP on so many players. Snappy doesn't want to let the planter out of the bomb site. He knows he likely has some kind of a 1v1. Now, no idea. Rez has slipped the net, quietly moving around, and he's going to find the first, but he's brought low. Yeah, he's brought very low. Winnable for Rez. Oh. Snappy's looking down the ladder. He doesn't know he's in the corner. He's going to look outside. Oh, Rez, I don't think he saw the gun barrel. Is he aware that he was peeking that direction? Knife out. Bomb's not planted for him, but he's low enough that when he taps it, he's not even going to consider upstairs. Rez not taking any chances on 2 HP. Does not want to even let a threat of his clothing show. And Snappy has to concede this. Yeah, he's got no He gives kid. it up. He has no information. Oh, he's gone. Rez will go down with the bomb, but it may not matter. I actually... get away. He might get all the way back to spawn here. He's fine. Yeah. Well, he's only recovered the SMG, so not the biggest deal in the world. It's that deagle that you want to hold on to. That is a magic deagle. Keep that alive at all costs. Brilliant round from Rez. But again, it's like, great. That's cool. It's a nice little highlight clip that'll probably pop up on Reddit. But this is now what? The Rez triple kill we have in this round with the Deagle outside. The Hampus quad kill that he had in the lower bomb center on control. Like too many rounds for NIP just won by individual heroics. And we still haven't seen them put together a team performance that can slow down this March events. Well done from Rez. I can't believe Snappy actually cleared all the way outside heaven, just didn't turn that they final the quarter. I like that. I like some coordination, some com camaraderie in the fan cam. Camaraderie? Com camaraderie. Aluminium. Aluminium. Snappy waiting to try and replicate Rez, but he's tagged, dinked up through the door. They'll have heard that, but he's going to hold his nerve. Hold the pin and that grenade between his teeth, maybe. Hampus gets the shot instead. He started it off. No assist on the play. Madden's already rotated downstairs with that 5-7. What can he get done? I don't think he's going to want to really peek up too much into this window, but he's definitely in front of the Molotov. As they come in, he wants to slide out. Good headshot from Fuzi. And Hades might want to start considering saving the M4. If someone comes towards him and he's able to get a kill, maybe they're motivated to move forward. But with a shotgun and a low HP scout, he's really the only one who has a standing in the retake. So they back off. they got plenty of rounds to play with. AK-47 picked up. And IP closed the gap just a little bit. They're up to five. Nothing to get excited about, though, Matt. Not yet. Not yet. Not yet. We, I mean, we might. It's, uh, it's Stranger things have happened in the world of Counter-Strike. But I... Uh, yeah, I will contain myself, Jason. Hold it in. Yeah, I will. Thank you. I will do my best. Bomb detonates downstairs. So an IP with back-to-back -back rounds after that sensational Deagle effort from Rez. Sensational doesn't quite cut it. That was that was unreal. Miraculous? Sure. Outstanding? There might not be a word in the English language. We can make one then. Drive by. You gotta love the MP9 running gun mechanics. Round 19. Strong buy with the AK-47. They picked up right at the end. Nade just kind of tickles Hampus outside. Hampus and Rez to work together to take control of Yard. <sighs> uh, we caught it at the end, but that's a splendid start for the scout. Hampus goes down. Hades trying to swing back out and get a second one as well as there's Rez that's there with his AK this time, not the Deagle. Perhaps even more scary. Don't get caught out on the textures behind you. <laughs> Jump away. That is always so frustrating when that happens. That made me nervous. That made my stomach, like, give some butterflies as well when I saw that. That's the worst experience of the whole game. There's a ladder in CT spawn and Dust 2 that does that to me all the time. It's like a wooden ladder that's laying down sideways. Okay. And it has a collision on it that every friggin' time I try and peek mid, I get caught on. It's so annoying. All righty. Death matching with Sadakist. Yes. Yeah, well, listen, <laughs> I didn't mention that it was death match, but... Uh, we all know. It's all I do. Yeah. No, but it, it is frustrating. And in that situation, when an AK is staring you down, cool, it's tough. Hades is spot, spotted two. Plopsky's going to fall back, though, after that information. These scout shots not landing after the beautiful first one. I thought he had that last one. That was so close. 
Madden, but S-Tag has nothing left to do. Diaz pushed up. That's great little warning system over towards ramp room. They can kind of ignore it. Leave him there. Maybe he gets one. Even if he goes down, he's got a lot of information early on for you. And Spinks remains on point. Opsky already inside of the doorway, but he's in a one on three and he's about to get found either way. Dia upgrades. He'll grab an AK that was down and snappy with the final kill. Ents now on 14 rounds. Uh, Ancient is next. You mentioned it earlier as well. Uh, NIP played very well on it in the previous series. We'll have to see if they can wake up on that wave. We get there very shortly. There's the shot we snapped to at the end. Dang. He has got moves as well, hopping up. Overpass the third if, if needed. If needed. There we go. Yeah, he's got 300 euros in his hat, in his beanie. More money than I have. Yours is all, you know, invested in tires and... Uh... That's not an investment, let's be honest. <laughs> it's a good time. It's a good time. It's all you can ask for, Matt. Yeah, it's true. Ooh, no one watching this. Hampus has slipped the net. Very aggressive. This is an odd timing as well. Player inside of the bomb site. If he spots it out, that could be huge. D has tucked into the corner. There's the spot towards Mini. Good win for Hampus. They're going to move forward. D has so much to do. First kill is his. Spray cannot be continued. Hades swaps out to the AK and almost doubles it up. Speed from NIP finally to take a sight. It's going to catch them off. They can't reposition fast enough. Needs to be aware that there's one below. He gets res. Now that does create a pr small problem. Spinks as well. Because the bomb was over in that position. And you're right, it is Spinks. Bombs forward of the boxes, so he's not fully aware of it just yet. And it's gonna be planted safely eventually, and Sphinx has to rotate around him. He came up the ladder, they didn't see him. Going in through the hut, closes the angle and might allow the silos to limit the peak from heaven if he gets in fast enough. Hashtag 47, easily doable for the M4, but now that's gonna signal the upper player, Smart Molotov because Hampus is on nine, and there's a real chance he could tap this away, but Spinks goes down to 12 in that exchange, and he's gonna get flashed off. Ball planted for Hampus. He knows exactly what the situation is, and it's gonna be a tap first. Hampus being patient, flashes in, he looks away. Looks away, but can't get the aim, and Hampus will win it for an IP. And Hampus has added some huge rounds for an IP in this game, obviously, keeping them alive here with a nice clutch. That Molotov towards heaven would have been perfect if Hampus didn't drop one of his own on the bomb. Spinks might have been able to get that first kill and just sit the defuse with the HP that Hampus was working with, but the counter Molotov, they just negated each other and allowed Hampus to play once everything, once the flame subsided. Good win. It's a good win, but NIP's fighting so hard just to stay alive, just to keep the most minimal grip on this map. d pushed up outside to red box. The lone M4 on the board for Entz. Ooh, and he gets a win. Nice, through the corner of the box. The damage is done. And Hades now with an AWP is going to take up that position. Diha. Looks like he wants to try and fall back under cover of the AWP. And IP haven't made a decision yet. Red's waiting it for it. Hades shot it. Not gonna land. Dia slides out though. Fuzzy's ready. A whole greeting party of NIP standing at the silo. Surprises you, Dia, go for that follow up peek. NIP was ready for it. Hades with the all pass to back away towards heaven. Back away and not overextend either. Oh, oh that's that's timing. timing. That's quite unfortunate. Gets down to the locker position. And as he rotates back out, he's already missed the first player sliding by. He will get Fuzzy, though. Good shot. Unaware, though, of how close they are. Meanwhile, S-Tag's trying to go toward the ramp. Rez, that's the one he didn't see. That's how close he was. He thought he could get a free peek back toward the garage. Rez was already holding the angle. He had the benefits of timing, like, twice, and he finally got punished. <laughs> Live by the sword, die by the sword. And now you have awkward weapons for Entz. Where can they be positioned? This is the bomb, actually. Plopsky's alone. A huge fight to win. Madden misses the opportunity. Plopsky's going to make his way into the bomb site. The shotgun can't get involved in the action. The deagle on snap, he's going to come up through secret. But NIP should be able to get up to seven. I think he made noise. Oh, he didn't now. Oh, my God, shotgun. <gasps> it's an AWP. Oh, well struck <laughs> from Rez. I was like, that's an AWP. He baits out one shot. He's dead. Oh, classic Mag 7, where you think you're close enough to get the one-shot kill. And it just brings him down to 14. Good old ladder. Yeah, tough to tough to jiggle the ladder as well, isn't it? You could see him considering it. You could see him going for it.
Snappy, the only one remaining, going to keep the Galil in hand. He can pass that Deagle over to a teammate, but that's a full investment from Ents in that round. Don't have to sit this next one out. If he catches the AK-47, that'd be great. So good on an IP to string a few rounds together in succession. Man, oh man, that's unfortunate. <laughs> right, 14 HP. And then he's just like, oh, okay, well, spotted you. <laughs> it, looks, it looks ridiculous. Fair play, it? though. Yeah, it does. The body just doesn't even move. It just appears <laughs> and disappears. All right, round 22. NIP still fighting back. Comes up with a big smiling face when he repeaks. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Dia outside already is going to try and hold the angle at red, but they're on just the very basic birth weaponry. Aside from Snappy. Oh, okay, Hampus. Not bad. Just barely clips the edge of Hades' head. Dia manages to get in behind the box at red. He's not going to be spotted yet. If Hampus stands up as he just did once more, though, he might be. Look at the aim. Strain, he saw it. Yeah, he saw the top of his head. Oh, he's missed that, though. Man, a little higher this time. Kaboom. He's like, come on, man. Bring an angle anywhere. There it is. So this one should go NIP's way. 14 to 8. What do we say, Jason? Double digits? Sure, we can have that. Galil and USP not strong enough to hold on to the four-man hit. Yeah, I guess double digits would be a good starting point. I, I usually do like within striking distance, which in my mind is about four rounds, four four-ish rounds, four to five. Which is also, Which double, is also digits. double digits in this there case. You go. Bomb has been planted. So Sphinx. Just, uh, you know, hope and a prayer. 22 kills. Add to those, maybe. Because <laughs> has never even left the silo. He's like, I'm the king of the hill. Play that game where someone gets up on top in the sandbox and you got to knock them off and the big kid always wins. I'll say, while we don't really know if... All M4s and a decent amount of utility. So Plopsky all the way back. They'll set the smokes outside. He and Fuzi. And Hampus s -Tag Res will capitalize on their positioning to try and get downstairs. D is the one that's there. You can see all the nades coming through. Identified, though, by peeking, peeking excuse me, before that first one plumed that they weren't that close yet, so holds the nade off for a moment. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, that works. Yeah. Okay, okay. It literally just, like, <laughs> that's what you do when, like, you, you have bad aim. It's like the round's over. You just swing your gun around. You're like, woo, having fun here. It just nails him with it. All right. Rez, though, look at Rez. Rez, this is a great position. Deal. No, oh, he almost he gets one more through the smoke. Why not? That's, I mean... I don't really know what to say about that one. Yeah, that's pretty foolish. Yeah, because right. Rez did one up him. He was going to be a freebie on Rez. The fact that he gets the follow up kill is spectacular. Well, Rez has arrived. Yep, he's in this game. He was huge against Liquid. Let's not forget that. I remember walking through the lobby after that game <laughs> finished, and yeah. I, I think it was uh, Elise was speaking with someone else. He said, Yeah, you either get three kills from Rez or 30. Today he <laughs> today, got 30. Today was a 30 day. <laughs> yep. So if he comes alive, man, oh man, watch out. Downstairs they go, and we can already see the hold. There's a lot of flashbangs on this NIP side, though, to pop, to pop flash this corner if you tuck yourself way far back so they can't hear the pin being pulled, but they decide to go contact. They decide to try and just be real sneaky about it. Rez gonna turn the corner. No one looks right. No one looks right. Madden is able to spray down all three. They slide into it, and I think it's the time on the clock that made them nervous, that made them rush that just a little bit. Lose a few details. No pop flash, no clearing hard right. There was 10 seconds on the clock. Triple kill from Madden gives Ed seven opportunities to close the map. That's... It almost looked like he's using, like, arrow keys when he's doing that. Yeah. <laughs> What a huge effort. You mentioned all the flashes and they didn't even use one. Yeah, I, they, they wanted to keep it quiet as long as possible. Well, they might get quieted here in this round. If Ents wins this, it's over. We move on to map two. Dia trying to do damage through the squeaky door. Sphinx up above it will fall off of Hut. Smoke was already in place. Molotov down below him. 
And outside, we see Hampus setting up again with smokes to cover the big garage once more. They're leaving Molotov off on the stairs. D is going to try and get up above. No Molotov on the crate this time, but they're staring at it because it's the most likely place to get peeked from. Decent amount of damage, though. Hampus stays close to the smoke, hugs it tight. Actually, they're going to walk right through. The question is how many. Hades hasn't seen anything just yet. Oh, there it is. Smoke clears. NIP took a little bit too long. Almost had the follow up. He nailed that shot earlier, but he's also been punished by the timing of that player. It was Rez previously, and he drops into the bomb site. So Snappy's a little bit on an island. They have to push lobby now because they have nobody who can protect above or underneath heaven. That's where Hampus and Rez are both heading. Up they go. They're clearing out lobby, radio, and the passage to ramp room right now for Snappy so that he can feel comfortable and he can get a glimpse towards the bottom of the ladder, but he might not see anything. He's making noise. That's going to be heard as well because you can already see the positioning of Hampus below Rez, who Rez now going to work at the upper site will create chaos. <sighs> Peeks any further on that. Might get spotted. He'll go down. Hampus is trying to chase the man he heard that was scurrying toward the ramp position. So they know he's down here somewhere, but where is he gone? And Hampus needs to be aware of all angles. Snappy, this is tough. He's going to get peaked. Good angle and entry. As Plopsky had the aim trained on it, as it was Fousey that wanted to clear the orange box. And now Rez with the ramp. Sphinx has problems getting back that direction. Snappy was on his own for so long. That had to have been so frustrating. He got pinched from three different angles, and he had nobody there in support. Plopsky up above behind the silo. Towards control window, a little bit of spam coming through. Not enough damage is dealt. How much does Entz want to commit to this retake? Was he trying to bounce that nade up? Because that would have been cool, but he didn't succeed. Either way, Hamp is gone. Hamp still continues to tick. Plopsky, that's huge. He did step out late. They didn't clear it fully, and he's the one that swings the round. It's Madden trying to do something to get back into it, but too far gone is the time on the bomb, and too far low is too far low. Too low is his life as he tries to scurry and run. He's far enough away now to survive 10 HP, but it's 15 to 9 as NIP hold on for one more. Yeah, that was a tough round for NIP to take. Not too bad for Mance, just never able to rotate anyone downstairs to help Snappy out. That could have been a much stronger hold. He goes one for one. Good kill from Hades, making this possible in a three versus three, but it's Plopsky who's the hero in this round. Double kill from behind the silo shuts things down, especially with time running low. I think... No, I don't think so. Sphinx up close this time with the MP9, so w limited weapons again. Another chance for an IP to capitalize. Sphinx is going to get aggressive, though, on this particular SMG. S-Tag, the one that waits with the AK and makes no mistake on it. Takes a little bit of damage. Plopsky behind him, actually, was the one that got hit. <laughs> S-Tag takes down 80s who thought, I'll do the same thing. Why not? Let's throw one more at it. Yeah, I, th first I two, think so. First two didn't work, but it was a great idea. The execution just wasn't there. Let's give the M4 a chance. Oh, wait. One more. There's someone on top of Hot Snappy. Your turn. At first, you don't yeah. succeed. Try try again also the definition of insanity yeah I'm fond to mix a little insanity into this well oh. that's why we're here here we go come oh, on do I it come on I thought 100% <laughs> he was gonna swing have a laugh boys Backs off, squeaky door still open. He's locked in the corner though gets one kill but tagged very considerably down to 14 didn't have the armor to go along with that here we Spicy. go. That's not bad, Snappy. Not the bomb. That would have been lovely if it was, because then they would have to come back and fight him, which they're going to do anyway. And Fousey will get the kill 15 to 10. Poor guy. At least he's got back support. Five round lead for Entz. They're whittling into it. I still don't think we haven't seen an AWP yet on Hades in the ZT side. Oh, yes, we have. Excuse me. In fact, we've seen it twice. That I can think of. I've lost my mind. Yep. I was just so excited with these HUD pushes. Auto shotgun on Sphinx. He drops down to a weaker weapon. Outside we go. Molotov smoke wall set up. Hades has got Hampus turning the corner. Man advantage for Entz. They can play a little bit passively. They can force NIP to make a disadvantage decision. And it looks like they're going to turn in towards Mini. Sphinx with the shotgun. d and Mini to hold the line. Timing is everything. He turned away. Oh, saw the shadow. Saw the shadow. He's going to double up. And there comes Hades to support that play. He gets the assist. Madden on all three yes. of those with the flash. Here